I was recently looking for songs for one of my pupils and he has a kind of poetry tinge to his voice. So I was having a little Google and I came across this band and thought they would be excellent. So I thought I would do a reaction to them. And this song is a song about living in a small town where there's not many opportunities. And that's something that I, I definitely know. I come from a small town in Scotland, so it's probably a, a similar-ish idea. And um, yeah, I don't know them really. <laughs> If you are interested to hear what I sound like when I sing, I have just released a cover of Wicked Game by Chris Isaac and it is out on Spotify and here on YouTube and of course on Apple and I'd love if you could take a look and let me know what you think. You know what? He has two things which is good from a, a little bitty town. He, at age six he started learning guitar and I tell you what, if you come from a small town there isn't much to do. So uh, if it's like Perth where I'm from, most, like lots and lots of people are really musical because before the invention, or certainly people in my age before, that there was lots of games and things like that, people just played music and people got really, really good. So there's loads and loads of, like if you go to a bar, people will come in and bring their trombone or whatever instrument they play, their fiddle or their accordion, because people have learned. Um, I think that's less true nowadays. People don't play instruments as much, but he was learning from age six and he just feels very, very comfortable. But his voice is very solely yet twangy. It cuts through and he has fantastic, fantastic diction, which can be unusual within country and blues, but it means that you hear every single word and it really, really makes sense with this song. It's like amazing storytelling and you want to hear every word because they're really uh, relatable. Just to make your family proud. I love the smoothness if of his I friend's voice as well. It, it shut the whole place down. I think that's Paul Jackson. What a great lyric. Yeah, this one horse. so sad um i love the little runs going back to vocal coach beth um on town uh or no 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 there was a little run just before that i think and it has um it is so precise often with those things happen like what i just did then the middle note goes a bit flat town and it's all about making sure that you really really can get those perfect dead on slowly and then speed it up bit by bit his are amazing it's like like he's just skipping down a little step all they got is a worn out thing a worn Of reality for so many people. <laughs> that lovely run on new. We all stick around because they all tell us to you swallow your pride just to make your family proud. If I didn't. Ooh, 
something really gets me about this. <laughs> I feel like there's something that's really relatable for me. I was very lucky to have a family who have always been like, go follow your dreams, go out there. And, um, you know, that has meant that I've lived and I do now live in London and, and traveled around quite a lot and, and seen the world. And you realize that there are so many beautiful places in the world. I'm very lucky to come from a really, really beautiful place in Scotland. And I, but you realize that there are places that are are beautiful in many many different ways and it's really important for your mind to go out and meet different people um, people from different backgrounds get new opinions on things and just push your boundaries a bit go to places that make you a little bit uncomfortable and you know when I went back to Scotland I found it beautiful and amazing and I forgot how wonderful it was and now I have this actually renewed sense of love for where I came from that I didn't have um, for a long time. When I went back home, I was like, wow, this place is amazing and the people are amazing and the the nature is amazing and it makes me want to be there more. So it's interesting, it's good to go back, but I think that you need to go out and experience your life um, to be able to do that at some point so that you can understand what was so wonderful about it. Like my parents actually aren't from Perth and Scotland, they're from down south. So there was a reason that they traveled all the way from their homes to go to that little old town, that itty bitty town. Yeah, this one horse town. I love the bit of grit. We all stick around. Whew. Cause they all tell us to swallow your pride. Just to keep your family proud. If I didn't think it it would shut the whole thing down. I settled at one horse and Before we ended, I wanted to talk about some vowels there. Right out of this town. He really went to the A uh on a lot of those vowels to make sure that it was nice and open and free and easy to sing for him. Yet, he made his consonants really, really short and quick. I always say it's like eating a burger. It kind of is. It depends how you eat a burger. But you're never going to be like, and clo slowly close your mouth. You generally just go, chomp. And that's what you want to do if you're consonants. So like, town. You do t really quick, n really quick instead of town, and then closing and muffling that sound. And he did that really, really well. What was really nice is the contrast there, um, or the ability to have that amazing technicality, the ease in his guitar, and that storytelling, which really, it really got me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Do 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 do